This is the CookTech 20 Power Bank, an absolute monster from the P series and the bigger brother of the CookTech 10 Power Bank that we have reviewed before. And you can check out the video right here. I was already impressed by this one, especially for the crazy combined output power that it delivers for such a small form factor. And the CookTech 20 just takes it to the next level on all fronts. We're talking 25,000 milliamp hours of capacity. That is more than enough to fully charge up state of the art MacBooks or an iPhone over three times and the output is insane for one port, just for one port, 140 watts. And the combined output power is way more than that. So fast charging for all your devices, no problem. And the fast charging of the power bank itself, it's also mind melting. 110 watts of input power. And that means in just 19 minutes, you can charge this up to 40%. It's very, very fast. I love the display, tons of infos, insights and details on it. These power banks are also fully airline safe. And if you're scared of melting your smaller devices, don't be because it also has a great safety feature built in, namely the low current mode. But more on that later. So yeah, looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. I got a new drip from CookTech, the CookTech 20 power bank. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So here we go. Now look at this box looking epic. But first of all, let's remove all the wrap because this way we can get a better picture of the box. So the sides are just blank. Nice shiny letters on top, all the small print on the bottom and this on the back with all the features, high capacity, high output, just awesome. So let's open it up right away. Nice padding on top and there we have it. Beastly. All right. And on the back, we also have the box with all the accessories and it says it right here, cable manual travel pouch. So let's get straight to it. We have the cutout for easy opening and there we have it, the cable with a rubber around CookTag label and it is of course a USB-C to USB-C CookTag 6A, really nice and long cable. We also have the pouch, looks like that with the brand label on the side. We have the string and the ends and we can zip it up. Well string it together. It's not a zip of course and inserting the power bank looks like that and close up. Perfect protection against scratches. So right there and we of course also have the manual multi-language front and back. One, two, three, four and five and the rest are the other languages. So to recap the cable, the rubber for it, the pouch and the paperwork. Done with the unboxing and now let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So here we have it. It looks absolutely epic. Alien space tech right there. Look at this body design. Really nice blend out of black and gray parts, especially the transparent parts on the front. Lovely. We have a button to activate it, but we will check out the display in the actual test because it, this setup is way too shiny with the ports on the top and all the labeling just awesome and it's a super compact unit but it's actually not that heavy it has a weight to it no question about that and it feels valuable but it's actually not like a stone so it's definitely travel friendly too especially with the pouch yeah now let's take a close look so we have the front side right here with a large display. Also this awesome looking dynamic LED strip, transparent front side, and this will turn off automatically again. And as you can see, it will react to the polarizer just a bit. So this is obviously not visible in real life, but I have a polarized filter on the camera. We have this side right here. It is airline safe. We have this on the back, so all the small print and safety precautions, also the specs. On this side, we have screws and also the capacity and the max combined output power. Screws on the other side as well, by the way. On top, we have one times USB-A and two times USB-C. Now you can read the labels, but they are very small as you can see, but you also have all the data here. And that's the bottom, Just it's just blank. And you can lay it down, of course, you can stand it up, really cool device. And Again, the button, really nice silent button. So yeah, what an awesome looking device. Not bad, right? So let's go for a little comparison and then also test it. So that's the setup. We have the 10, we have the 20. I have my strongest brick, cables and power hungry phones. Here we have the power banks and both of them will turn on with just a click of a button. 10, 20, obviously. The size difference 
is noticeable, but of course the capacity is also much more. And we have one USB-C slot more. Great display in both cases, but for this test I will only focus on the 20. So first of all, let's charge it up. Let's see. And there are of course many possible scenarios because we have in, out, in, out and out. So you can charge three devices at the same time or you can charge two devices and charge a power bank. So let's see. Let's plug it in. And we have the three ports right there. So total input right now 56 watts. And we have the corresponding animation upwards right on let's try the other one this one right there and we get the same 56 watts total input and the cables can also be a limiting factor by the way now this is a 140 watts brick so this won't be a limiting factor and also don't underestimate the limiting factor of the cable if you want the best results you gotta use the best gear and the cooktech cable is just that so let me show you and now check this out without the limitations this will go up to 94 watts of fast charging. And now we are running up really fast. Love to see that 20 volts, almost five amps, extremely fast energy transfer. And as you can see in just one hour, this will be completely full once more. Let's move on and let's charge some devices. So first of all, I'm going to charge my iPhone, Apple products. Let's check it out. I'm currently filming with the iPhone. So let's plug it in and let's see. iPhones don't have a crazy fast charging rate. As you can see, the animation is now outwards. And this will, by the way, also correspond to the, I'm currently charging it again, it will respond to the greater power. So if there is more input, it will go upwards. And if there is more output, it will go downwards. So I'm currently charging the power bank and over the power bank, I'm charging the phone. So as I said, there are tons of different scenarios. And now let's go for my craziest phone. I think this can go up to 60 watts of fast charging, something like that. Yep, there we go, going crazy. And you can tell by the active cooling fan inside and we can see all the detailed specs right there. So we have 55 watts of output. And now let's add a third one. Let's get this one. Good stuff. So check it out. Love the display. And by the way, we can also cycle through the display. But first, as you can see, we also have the double digit after the comma going down and we have a total output of 74 watts. That's awesome to see. So all three devices, all three phones and the iPhone right there will get fast charged. That's awesome. So the energy transfer is extremely quick. And when we press again, we can switch over to the graphs, which is also nice to see. The yellow one is the input and the blue one is the output. So it was still scaling up to reach all the fast charging goals. And we also have the wattage and the amps and also the volts for all the outputs. And when we click it a third time, we can also decide if we want to keep the screen on by pressing and holding, we can go to the no or to the yes. By the way, pressing and holding will reset the power bank. And check this out, we have this mode right there. It's slowly scaling up, as you can see. That's interesting to see, but let's go back. So we have the regular mode and with a double press, we can also go to the safety mode right there, AKA the low current mode. And we can also go back with another double press right there. And by the way, when you turn it off like that, then it will immediately turn on again because it will recognize that there are some devices attached to it. So if we would unplug all cables and try it again, then it will of course stay off right there, just like so. And to turn it on again, we gotta press it just like that. So again, the regular mode, double press, low current mode. Great safety feature. And now it will just stay on five volts right there. So you can overvolt your dumb devices that will not support the fast charging algorithm and detection. So yeah, great display, great insights, great graphs right there, amazing power. So all in all, just as the 10, the CookTech 20 power bank is also an amazing piece of tech. So massive thumbs up from my side. What an awesome power bank. All right, and for the stress test, let's go for charging laptops. I have two USB-C cables. The MacBook, of course, has this magnetic one and also a USB-A one so that we can go max out on all ports. So let's start with this one and the smaller laptop right there. 
there and we are already going with a good 50 watts. Let's get the MacBook into the play as well with the magnetic cable. So as you can see 50 watts for this one and almost 50 watts for this one. Let me switch them around just to see what will happen and as you can see we have the same total output over 100 watts going out not bad, not bad at all. So as you can see, the CookTag 20 is easily powerful enough to charge up two laptops at the same time and also a third device. No problem whatsoever. This one is only drawing 10 watts. Are you kidding me? But in any case, check this out. Incredible output power, super fast transfer rates. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, massive thumbs up from my side. Two laptops, one phone, and it's big enough to easily charge up a full laptop over one time. So as you saw, yet another premium device from CookTech that is actually very affordable. Great value right there, especially for what it brings to the table. The P-Series is an awesome product line to say the least. Compared to the CookTech 10, the 20 model of course has a much bigger capacity and rivaling specs when it gets to the output power. And we even got one USB-C slot more. Again, for one USB-C port, 140 watts of output power, that is incredible. That's plenty for even power hungry laptops. Fast charging for iPhones, Samsung, Xiaomi, you name it. Samsung, as far as I know, can facilitate up to 45 watts. Some of these Xiaomi's up to 60 watts. So whatever the case, the Model 20 can deliver this easily. Even for multiple phones, no problem. Three phones, fast charging in parallel, no sweat easy. And with the low current mode that you can activate with a double press, you're safe and sound with smaller devices as well. And you can also use this mode if you want to charge your phone or other devices, for example, overnight in a slow manner. And that's of course for saving your batteries. And that's of course because slow charging will always yield a longer lifespan. So if you have the time, why not do it slowly? But with this one, with both, you can also go very, very fast. So yeah, great features, great display, great hardware. It's just lovely. It looks awesome. So all in all, the P-Series power banks from CookTech are definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Tech Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.